is it okay if I give you all a quick quiz? Anyone going to play along with this? Will you? All right, good. I'm going to say a line from a movie, and then you tell me which franchise it's from. Ready? I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. There's some smart people out there. I'll give you another clue here. Come with me if you want to live. More people, this has to get easier, of course, to get all of you on board. I'll be back. <laughs> Even uh, without the Australian accent, you got Austrian accent, you got that one. These are all lines from the Terminator movies. I mean, these movies really are ingrained in our culture. Uh, and it was exciting for us at Adobe that the filmmakers behind the newest installment, Terminator Dark Fate, which just opened, decided to lean heavily on Adobe tools to make this movie. So Premiere Pro was their primary editing tool. They used Photoshop and Illustrator to create templates. And then After Effects, Mixamo, and the newest addition to Adobe, the Substance Suite of 3D creation tools for the visual effects. But our video applications aren't just for those with blockbuster budgets. No matter what kind of project you're working on, Jason Levine is here to show you how Premiere Pro and Premiere Rush are going to save you time and help you make some pretty magical effects as well. Take it away, Jason. All right. Thank you, Scott. Hello. All right, my friends. Well, the video team has been extremely hard at work over the last year, really optimizing the workflows that you rely on every day. So the four features that I'm going to share with you really speak to this idea of making you more productive. And I'm also going to share with you an incredible new way to deploy your content to any screen and any screen size and any aspect ratio with the help of a little Adobe Sensei magic. So I'm going to start here on the HP ZBook, and I'm inside of Premiere Pro with some footage from Terminator Dark Fate. And we're going to talk about a feature called Freeform. And quite simply, Freeform puts all of your video front and center and allows you to organize and drag and storyboard any way that you like. You can pick up series of clips and drag them around. As you hover over them, you can see what's inside of those clips. You can set in and out points. If you have a hero shot, like this one of Arnold here, I can go ahead and make this extra large. I can take my clips and I can start organizing them diagonally, vertically, horizontally. However I want to organize, I can do it. I can even take a series of clips and move them off the freeform canvas, because this is not a fixed view. In fact, when I scroll down, what you'll see is that this is, in fact, a continuous video artboard laying out all of your content, organized and storyboarded however you like, by scene, by time of day, by color grading status, just however you like it. So once I've got everything ready to go, directly from Freeform now, I can select my clips. I can simply build a new sequence right here, hit play, and just like that, my storyboards are now in the timeline, and I'm telling my story. Freeform is storyboarding freedom. But what does that mean? I just made it up. I'm not entirely sure, but I love it. Now, designers. You are all very, very familiar with masking. You heard Terry and Emily talking about masking earlier. Well, of course, in video, we mask as well. The only difference is that we mask over time, right? We mask multiple frames. And in the case of a shot like this, this was captured on a Mavic Pro drone, 4K shot in Bali. Love this. We have these beautiful boats in the foreground, but the one right here has a logo that we don't want. We need to obscure that logo. So if I go into my effects controls, you can see that I created a mask here. And I'm simply, it's an opacity mask. I'm going to turn this on, which will flip it black. And I'm going to hit track forward. Now, the thing is, tracking in the previous version of Premiere for three seconds, 72 frames, would have taken about 40 to 60 seconds to process. But now, with the speed-enhanced masking and tracking engine, it happens in a fraction of the time. Whether you're working in 4K, yes, 6K, yes, 8K, yes. Now, of course, some of this speed could be attributed to the HPZ book. <laughs> Hashtag sponsored. <laughs> but regardless of whatever machine you're on, you will feel that speed performance difference. Now, let's cut to repurposing content. This is something that, regardless of whether you're a professional, whether you're just starting in video, you need to be aware of different screen sizes. If you're going to be sharing your content to social networks, you've got to think about widescreen, square, vertical, and everything in between. So here we have this lovely video of our skier shot in 16 by 9, but I've created these little boundaries, because if I wanted to deliver this exact clip to a vertical uh, social network, as he moves through, you can see the problem is he's moving out of the center of the frame. 
So as the editor now, I've got to waste time coming in here and manually cropping and reframing and placing all that action in the center. Well, I'm very happy to tell you that today you no longer have to do that thanks to a new feature powered by Adobe Sensei called Auto Reframe. This incredible new, game-changing feature will automatically use Adobe Sensei's power to scan and analyze your clip. And it's not just looking at faces, it's looking at motion, it's looking at region of interest. It knows what you want to show. Let's go ahead and choose something like a vertical 16.9. You can, of course, customize this to any aspect ratio that you desire. And we're going to click Create. Sensei does its analysis, and just like that, it creates the vertical version for me, which I can now upload to any of my favorite social networks. Yes! Ugh. Ugh. Yes! But, but, wait, wait. You know, this is, it is an AI engine after all. I mean, it might not capture everything that you need, you might want to make changes. Now, you're not going to hurt Sensei's feelings, yet. <laughs> Am I right, Shantanu? <laughs> not yet. So if we go into the effects controls and I click on motion, first of all, you'll see that you have access to all of the keyframes that Sensei used to reframe your video. And as I scroll through this, scrub through it, you can actually see the bounding box showing you all of the motion that it did to keep that action in the center. I don't say game-changing too often. This is game-changing, time-saving, absolutely incredibly productive, and just awesome, and it's called Auto Reframe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> OK. Now, of course, I'm not always on the desktop. Sometimes I just want to shoot and share. And the application that I use to shoot and share, of course, is Adobe Premiere Rush. Now, Premiere Rush was launched last year right here at Max. It is our cross-platform, cross-device editing app, and it makes it really easy to shoot right in app very, very simply. And then, of course, we give you all the things you need to augment and make your videos social ready. Things like motion graphics templates, hundreds, thousands of them, in fact, social call-out boxes, all available, and more to download via Adobe Stock. And then, of course, you have color presets, beautiful ways to augment your video with cinematic color, even manual controls. And if you look at these right here, very similar to Lightroom, yes! And then, of course, not to be forgotten, you have audio, right? You want to balance the audio. You want to remove background noise. You want to reduce echo. Sensei does it all. But the number one feature that all of our users requested was the need for speed, the ability to speed your clips up or slow them down. So here I have some beautiful butterflies captured by my friends at Via Films. They actually downloaded this clip off of Adobe Stock. And it's beautiful, but I want to make it more dramatic so that you can really see and feel the butterflies <laughs> fluttering by. So look at, look at how easy this is. I'm going to tap on speed. You have two simple handles, visual handles, at the top left and right. You can drag those handles to tell it where you want the speed change to begin. In this case, let's do the entire clip, and we'll take it from 100% down to 20% speed, just like that. You even have the ability to add a ramp to gradually increase or decrease that speed change over time. Let's go ahead and tap away. Let's go ahead and shrink this down. Let's go ahead and wind it to the beginning and play. And just like that, now we have beautiful, slow, dramatic, dreamy, dare I say, lovely butterflies flying by. <laughs> he really digs butterflies. And now I'm ready to share. And of course, sharing is incredibly easy in Adobe Premiere Rush. You simply tap Export. And Rush knows. It knows what you want. It knows the settings you want. High quality, best quality for all of my social networks. Yes, you have manual controls if you want to, but you don't need them. Sensei knows. And right from here now, you have the ability to deploy your content, to upload your content to all of your favorite social networks, including a new one that we're announcing an exclusive partnership with today, TikTok. And my friends, these are just some of the incredible innovations available in the video products right now. Thank you very much. I'll have what he's having. All right, thank you, Jason. We did preview Auto Reframe at IBC, this huge video convention in Amsterdam where it got just a ton of us. It's going to save video pros around the world millions of hours of tedious work and give them more time to be creative. So we're really excited about it. And today, as Jason said, we're also excited to announce a new partnership with TikTok. 
Premiere Rush is now the first app that allows you to share your videos directly to TikTok, one of the fastest growing destinations for short form video. So we're excited about that as well.